Crook and Jay Ryan, thank you so much for joining us today here uh, in Cincinnati, Ohio, to talk about your new show that will debut this Thursday on the CW Cincinnati, Beauty and the Beast. And I wanted to start by asking you both if you could quickly, for viewers who may not know the, the whole premise of the show, because it's a little bit different than when people think of uh, Beauty and the Beast, you know, the Disney version or the 80s mm -hmm. version. Um, could you tell us a little bit about your characters and the premise of the show? Yeah, um, the show is, like you said, it's loosely based on the 1980s series with Linda Hamilton and Ron Perlman. In our version, Katherine Chandler is a police detective. Um, she, you meet her when she's about 19 years old, and she, her mother's murdered in front of her, and she's saved by this beast. Um, and she, you know, questions it, people, you know, make fun of her, and essentially, ten years later, she starts to, on a case, discover DNA that matches samples that she had before. Um, so that's Catherine in a nutshell. Right, and I guess where Vincent comes into that is that he is, uh, to create this beast, he's being part of a military experiment that's gone awry. Uh, so he's escaped from uh, the, the, the experiment and um, basically come back to New York City to try and find the cure to this demon inside him. Um, so he's kind of locked himself in hiding, really. Uh, but to do so, you know, at night he sort of goes out and becomes this vigilante and leaves his fingerprints sort of over New York City where Catherine... Discovers uh, them. Discovers <laughs> them. Now, when you're doing a show that is loosely based on something that we've seen before and that people are familiar with, are there any challenges that come to playing these roles that people have seen other actors play before? I know this is a very modern version of, you know, that 80s show that we did see, but what kind of challenges come um, with playing characters that we, we have become accustomed to before? Well, I guess as, you know, actors, we have to hopefully break the expectations of what the audience are uh, looking for. Um, if they're looking for a replica of something they've seen before, then they're not going to get it. So hopefully they, uh, you know, open us with uh, wide <laughs> arms and, and enjoy our take on the characters. All right, and then Kristen, you're no stranger, obviously, to the CW. We saw you from many seasons on Smallville as uh, Lana yeah. Lang. And so this is very familiar territory, doing kind of a supernatural kind of show for you. But this also seems mm -hmm. very different than your, your Lana character. She was very sweet. This character, although, you know, may seem sweet, but it's also very, seems kind of gritty and strong. And I know you had to do some uh, martial arts in the show as well. What kind of training did you have to do to prepare for this role? Well, it's funny because I, I, yeah, Lana was incredibly sweet and, and wonderful and all those things. And I, I think for me, I grew up doing martial arts. Like, I was in karate from, like, third grade to tenth grade. Um, and I also, you know, did gymnastics and dance. So all of that training has come into play for Catherine for me. Um, I get to just, and I did this movie Street Fighter as well, so I did a bunch of training for that. So all of those things that I'm actually fairly capable with, I get to utilize, um, which I didn't as much with Lana, although I did a little bit. All right, and Jay, how does this um, differ for some of the characters that you have played before? Uh, well, what is great about this character of the Beast, or Vincent, I guess, is that um, his moral compass is kind of, you know, on the tipping point. A lot of characters, you know, they have good and bad in them, but they're sure. swayed to one side, whereas Vincent sort of runs between the whole gamut. You know, you're not sure if he is this murderous villain or if he's just a normal guy trying to uh, have a relationship with a woman. So um, that's what I love playing about this character is it can go anywhere in a day for me when we're shooting and within an episode as well. Now, do, doing a show like this brings in a, a lot of fans from a lot of different realms, but also sort of that, um, the supernatural kind of fans who really get attracted to the show. Are you guys, um, did you go to Comic Con this year? Have you already started to attract those kind of fans? <laughs> we did go to Comic Con this yeah, year. It was did. Jay's first Comic Con. Um, it was awesome. It. it was crazy. There was, we, uh, yeah. we actually premiered the show mm -hmm. um, to like 5,000 people. So that was our first public audience viewing. And uh, it was great reaction. And it was, it was great to get, you know, the natural fans' reactions as opposed to, uh, you know, critics and stuff like that. To see what a, get a whole range of people uh, uh, were liking and what they wanted to see before we went into actually filming the series. All right. Well, and I know the critics have been giving it some great reviews, too. And everybody can check it out this Thursday, October 11th. It will premiere at 9 p.m. right here on the CW Cincinnati. Kristen and Jay, thank you so much for joining us today. And good luck with the show.
thank you very much.